the top six vitamins to lower cholesterol naturally. Cholesterol is a fatty substance that your body actually makes as raw material for building hormones, cell membranes, bile and to repair your damaged tissues. Cholesterol is transported through your blood in these little protein wrappers which are called LDL and HDL. HDL is considered to be very healthy as it helps to carry the unneeded cholesterol from your cells to your liver in order to eliminate it from your body. However, certain types of LDL cholesterol called small dense LDL are considered to be dangerous as these contain smaller particles of cholesterol which can stick to the inside walls of your arteries causing a buildup of plaque which can raise the risk of having a heart attack, stroke or a blood clot if left untreated. Fortunately however, there are some very simple and natural ways that you can lower your small dense LDL which is bad cholesterol and raise your HDL which is good cholesterol in order to stay healthy. In this video we'll be exploring the top 6 vitamins to lower your cholesterol naturally by improving your HDL and LDL ratio. Bear in mind that I use the words vitamins very broadly to include nutritional supplements and herbal remedies that you can use to improve your cholesterol levels. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first and most powerful remedy for lowering cholesterol is called bile acids. If you choose, you can take up to 4000 mg of bile acids daily to help your body process fats and to eliminate excess cholesterol. Bile is a liquid that's made by your liver and your gallbladder which helps to dissolve and break down fats in your body and also to regulate your cholesterol levels. If you're overweight, you have a fatty liver, bloating, gas, indigestion or you have gallbladder problems, bile supplements can usually help. You can get this in the form called ox bile in supplements but the more powerful version is called tudka. In addition to lowering your cholesterol, taking a bile supplement also helps to prevent the cholesterol from crystallizing and forming gallstones whilst it also helps you to absorb more fat soluble nutrients from your food like vitamin A, D, E, K and K2 which all help to protect your heart and prevent plaque from forming inside your arteries. Remedy number 2 is vitamin B3 more commonly known as niacin. One of the main dangers of high LDL cholesterol levels is that certain types can stick to the inside walls of your arteries and they become oxidized. This makes your arteries very stiff and they begin to form this hardened calcified plaque inside which can block blood flow and trigger a heart attack. Niacin however is one of the best natural remedies to prevent a heart attack as it's been shown in studies to reduce bad small dense LDL cholesterol and it improves the good HDL cholesterol and also reduces triglycerides which are blood fats very very quickly. You can take 500 mg of sustained release niacin 1 to 3 times per day but be sure to avoid the niacinamide. Taking this vasodilates and opens up your blood vessels causing a flushing sensation in the face, neck and chest within 2 hours of taking it and that's how you know that it's working. If you're finding this information helpful so far, please tap the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Coming back now to number 3 which is aged garlic extract. Garlic is one of the most healing foods on the planet as it contains a powerful natural sulphur called allicin which gives it that pungent flavour and smell. Now, aged garlic extract has been shown in studies to naturally lower LDL cholesterol and prevent calcium and cholesterol plaque from forming inside the arteries. I recommend simply eating raw organic garlic on a daily basis to help your liver produce more bile in order to eliminate the extra cholesterol that you don't need. Garlic also has the positive effect in helping to control blood pressure and lowering inflammation in your heart and cardiovascular system. If you simply don't like the taste of garlic, you can take up to 2400 mg of aged garlic extract on a daily basis to help regulate your cholesterol. 
Remedy number four is called phytosterols. If you've been diagnosed with high LDL cholesterol levels and you're concerned about potential heart problems, you may consider loading up on phytosterols. Phytosterols, or plant sterols, are compounds that are very similar in their cell structure to cholesterol, but they come from plants. These help to reduce your absorption of cholesterol from food by competing against it in your small intestine, which can help to normalize cholesterol levels. The best way to get these is by consuming extra virgin olive oil, pumpkin seeds, almonds, walnuts, pecans and pistachios. But if you wish, you can take it in a supplement which contains up to 130 milligrams of beta cytosterol per day. Just as a side note, you can find links to some recommended products and supplements below the video that you may wish to research in your own time. Moving on now to vitamin number 5, which is vitamin C. The vitamin C complex is an essential group of nutrients that you need to consume on a daily basis to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. Vitamin C boosts antioxidant levels in your body, helping to prevent inflammation and damage in the inner layer of your arteries in order to prevent the LDL cholesterol from sticking. However, its most important function is converting cholesterol into bile in your liver by activating a certain enzyme. The best way to get the real vitamin C complex is by consuming raw fruits and vegetables like bell peppers, strawberries, sauerkraut, cabbage, all of the leafy green vegetables and citrus fruits like lemons, limes or grapefruit. If you do want to take a supplement, make sure that you use a whole freeze-dried fruit powder such as Camu Camu, rose hips or acerola cherry, and you can drink this in a glass of water or blend it into a smoothie. And finally, I want to talk about number 6, which is Burberry. Inside your liver, there are these LDL receptors, which play a role in removing the extra cholesterol from your body. Often, these receptors can get damaged by a protein called PCSK9, especially when there's inflammation, high blood sugars or liver damage from eating the wrong foods. And that's where berberine comes in. Berberine has been shown in studies to help remove this harmful protein so that your liver and your LDL receptors can function properly in order to naturally lower your LDL cholesterol. Berberine is a bright yellow alkaloid found in many different plants like turmeric and golden seal. You can take this as a daily supplement at a dosage of 500 milligrams three times per day, 30 minutes before meals to help normalize your cholesterol levels and also to lower high blood sugars. Under the supervision of your doctor, you may wish to try out one or two of these remedies and get your cholesterol levels checked frequently to see which works best for you. It's very important that I note, supplements are not designed to be magic pills. They work best when they're used in conjunction with a healthy lifestyle that includes eating the right foods to lower inflammation in the body. Later in the video, I'm going to share with you the top 6 lifestyle tips that you can follow to regulate and lower your cholesterol levels. But first, let's take a look at the root causes of high cholesterol in the first place. The main cause is simply having a fatty liver, liver disease or gallbladder problems brought about by drinking alcohol, eating too much sugar, junk foods, toxins or medications. All of these issues cause a deficiency in bile, that's the detergent that is needed to help dissolve the extra cholesterol in your body. Also, high blood sugars from eating lots of flour, bread, biscuits, pancakes, donuts, sugar or vegetable oils all tend to raise the dangerous cholesterol called small dense LDL. It's also important to note that when you're losing weight, it's natural for your cholesterol levels to go up for a while, as your body has to break down the cholesterol that's stored in your fat cells. You can also have high cholesterol levels if you have any type of damage in your digestive system, like Crohn's, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulitis, etc. And finally, some people have a genetic mutation which causes higher LDL cholesterol levels throughout their life. Now, let's take a look at the lifestyle tips to follow to lower high cholesterol. 
One, improve the function of your liver to help eliminate excess cholesterol by eating artichokes, radishes, pickles, ginger, celery, garlic, mint, apple cider vinegar, green tea and hibiscus tea. These bitter foods and drinks stimulate the production of bile in your liver, the liquid that helps to break down the cholesterol, triglycerides and fats in your body. 2. Start cutting out processed foods from your diet like sugar, cereals, bread, soda drinks, biscuits, pastries, pasta, alcohol and sweets. 3. Start eating more nutritious, high quality proteins like wild salmon, pasture raised eggs, sardines, grass fed beef, organic pork and European raw cheeses. These fattier proteins contain lecithin, especially egg yolks, which help to lower cholesterol levels and clean out fat from your liver. 4. Load up on gut healthy sources of prebiotic fibre and probiotics such as bell peppers, avocados, sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, celery, garlic and all of the leafy green vegetables. 5. Perform lots of low stress exercise like walking, swimming or gardening throughout the week to lower your blood sugars and prevent the creation of too much LDL. And twice per week I want you to perform some high intensity interval training like biking, running or weightlifting to get your heart pumping and lower the oxidative stress in order to protect your arteries. And number 6. Keep your stress levels down by getting an extra hour of sleep each night, practicing mindfulness and using essential oils around the home like lavender or ylang ylang. Now it's important that you know the real danger behind clogged arteries and heart disease is not so much the cholesterol but the inflammation that happens inside your artery walls first. To learn more about this and how to unclog your arteries with nutrition, go ahead and watch this video that's on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching this video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.